gather around, my friends. Every once in a while, Wall Street Bets blesses us with one of those stories that we will never forget. A story of trade so diabolical and wicked that the perpetrator's exploits are etched forever in the blood and iron that power our pursuit of wealth. Today, I share with you one such story. It is my honor to introduce a cat by the name of Teresita Schoolcraft, who was born in Oaxaca, Mexico in 1993. Under unspecified circumstances around 1998, Teresita's family saw a new life in the greener pastures of Chicago, Illinois. There is speculation that Teresita is a woman based on the avatar and name, but this hairy arm photo from March 26 indicates that this is indeed a man. His early life in Chicago was never discussed, but fast forward to modern day, and Teresita appears to be a man of means, claiming to be now 30 years old with $2 million in net worth and $150,000 of annual income from an unspecified digital business that he started during the pandemic lockdown. Has officially called it COVID-19. He also indicates during a slightly unhinged rant about the anti-work movement that he borrowed substantial money from the government in the form of pandemic relief. But not to be confused with being an entirely self-made man, we see several indications that he married into a wealthy family and wanted to contribute to the family's gains as well. I don't want to overstep my research skills, but as best I can tell, Teresita married a girl with some money and had a couple kids right before the COVID lockdown. He started a business with his wife's money and took out a payment protection plan loan to raise liquidity, even buying a house at low interest. Shortly thereafter, he HELOCed during the housing bubble and set his sights on the stock market. And that is where Teresita's degeneracy rears its coked out face. In December of 2021, the big man made his first flex post on Wall Street Bets, showing off a wild $2.6 million YOLO on GameStop. According to the man himself, this is Teresita's life savings, and I believe some of it was borrowed against his house or as part of the payment protection plan loan. But regardless, Teresita announced his intention to go big or go home, ride or die with Ryan Cohen. It is unclear when the big shot closed, but given GameStop's precipitous drop-off shortly thereafter, I think it's safe to say this trade was a fat L. No matter, unfazed, Teresita took $53,000 of his wife's money a month later and dumped it into at-the-money lucid puts expiring a full eight months later, a significant length of time by any standard, especially Wall Street bets. Again, it is unclear when he sold, but if he did hold until expiration, this trade doubled his money and netted him a cool 50 grand over the life of the trade. Even if he did make some good money on Lucid, this trade would pale in comparison to what he did next. In approximately mid-May of 2022, the madman went balls deep into Bed Bath & Beyond with a quarter million dollar purchase at approximately $9.30 a share. This equated to almost 263,000 shares. His exit plan hinged on the towel stock going back to the 20s, the previous spike price over the next 12 months. And unbelievably, he was absolutely right. Armies of apes piled into bath stonk throughout the summer. Short sellers were disemboweled by legions of retail traders and pumpers who envisioned a stock reinvigorated by activist investor Ryan Cohen. RC's plans for a company turnaround struck a powerful chord with speculators who tricked themselves into believing they were long-term investors, adding fuel to the stock's meteoric rise. On August 17th, Bath Stonk briefly hit a 52-week high at $30 even before squatting to 23 at the end of the day. Our absolutely insane madman had done it, with 263,000 shares going from $9.30 to $30. This put the wild boy at a gain of over 5.4 million. His ridiculous portfolio, powered by overpriced bathtubs and dish towels, crested three quarters of a million dollars. A gain worthy of classical mythology and the Wall Street Bets Hall of Fame. <sighs> Greed is an interesting thing. Teresita Schoolcraft put his entire life savings, some of which likely borrowed, on a meme stock, praying for it to reach $20. The stock hit 30. He made over $5 million in a few months because the stock did exactly what he predicted. And it just wasn't good enough. In spite of all evidence that the top was imminent, our man refused to sell. Ryan Cohen announcing his intention to liquidate his holdings, thereby obliterating the stock's bullish thesis, still did not suss him out. Unable to accept that his pump and dump stock had run its course with him holding the bag, Teresita went to extreme measures to cope with reality. Like so many others still holding the bag on GameStop, our man retreated into a subreddit echo chamber. This one, r slash bbby. In this disturbing place, everything is bullish. Cohen dumping was bullish because now there are more shares in the float that he can buy. Inventory liquidation sales below acquisition cost are bullish because there is more room for new inventory. 
Share dilution is bullish because it allows short sellers to short more shares, thereby priming for an even larger short squeeze. The stock losing 90% is bullish because it can only go down another 10%, but can go up an unlimited amount. This cult deceived itself into believing that Bed Bath & Beyond stock will skyrocket momentarily, and short hedge funds are shaking in their Versaces. Terracita is among the worst offenders of this horrifying groupthink. In November 2022, Terracita posted a disturbing photo to the Bed Bath & Beyond subreddit. His Robinhood account showed that not only did he refuse to sell any of his position, but he in fact added more shares. El Chico Loco rode that entire wave without selling a single share. Not only is that $5.4 million gain eviscerated, but he now stared at a $1.5 million loss. Unable to face reality, Teresita indicated intent to DRS these shares and ride them to the end. His cope was intoxicating. And then it got worse. Apparently, Teresita's wife observed Bed Bath & Beyond related TikToks about the meme stock's fall from grace. According to Gen Z, the armies of apes were betrayed when Ryan Cohen sold his stake, crashing the stock price and dooming them to crippling losses. Only the truest diehards were willing to hold these emaciated shares with a diamond grip. Teresita's wife expected as much from her husband. She asked if he was still holding, at which point Teresita revealed his loss now exceeding 1.9 million. His wife's immediate reaction is unclear, but in short order, our dear friend shared his concerns in a now deleted post that he and his wife are unable to make their marriage work. His deep concern was that his daughters would struggle with the split. The exact reason for the difficulty was never discussed, but if I were a betting man, I'd wager that Teresita's gambling addiction and absorbance into the Bed Bath & Beyond cult had a significant impact. Who would want to stay married to someone who could lose $2 million to a cult stock while simultaneously praising the former chairman who used shareholders as exit liquidity? His post history in the past few months indicates an interest in returning to Mexico to start a new life. El Pregunto en Español, if living another life in Cabo or Tulum was a desirable alternative to living in Chicago. It is unclear if anything came of this, but credit to the Reddit community, Teresita was offered extensive support in the comments section, which may have eased his mind. He does appear to have gone to Disney with his family in late March. So, perhaps, our friend's escape fantasy does not need to become a reality at least for his sake. I hope his marriage is on its way to amicable reconciliation. But the same cannot be said for his portfolio. Several months after his meltdown, we see a string of posts indicating continued massive losses. All comments indicate that he still holds his towel shares to this day and is excited about the reverse split. When I started making this video, Bed Bath & Beyond carried a pitiful stock price of less than 80 cents, a 96.5% loss over the year, and Bathtubs Incorporated appears to be on the brink of bankruptcy with liquidation sales abundant. Teresita Schoolcraft is now staring at an overall loss that exceeds 2.1 million, an insufferable swing of over $7 million from six months ago. His portfolio rests at about 200 grand, a mere fraction of the 2.5 million he started with. But no man will see the positive in having 200K left. He will only see the $2.3 million loss, and he will ride it to the end when Bed Bath & Beyond files chapter seven. And as I'm putting the finishing touches on this video on April 23rd, it turns out that Bed Bath & Beyond is actually filing Chapter 11, and now I need to update this video. Teresita Schoolcraft, it is with open arms that I welcome you to the Wall Street Bets Hall of Fame. May your exploits live forever as you accept the jagged crown of degeneracy. Who wants to be king? Thanks for watching, everyone. One like equals one prayer for Teresita. Be sure to join our free Discord where we get into all kinds of shenanigans. Link in the description.